Hey guys, John here, and we're going to be making this patch today. All right, I think you get the idea. So on the left-hand side is the patch that we're going to recreate. And here on the right is going to be a blank preset, so you can follow along if you'd like. So let's go do a knit preset again. And for this, we're going to be using two saws at first and then a sub. So for our first saw, let's bring this unison up to 16. Let's lower the detune down a little bit so it's not as detuned. And then let's drop this down two octaves. That's one, two. All right, and then let's send this to the filter, which it already is. Let's turn the filter on, and let's go to 24. And let's turn this all the way here, probably about to the left, kind of horizontally right here. And let's go to envelope 2, and then drag this down, the sustain, so it kind of has like a little shark, shark fin kind of feel to it. And we're going to drag this over to the cutoff. So... All right, now we're going to turn on oscillator B, and this is going to be 8 unison. And let's turn this off for a second. Let's bring in that detune, that detune a little bit. Then we're gonna turn this down maybe to about 38, 37%, something around there. And then let's turn our port on about 50 milliseconds. I think is what I had before. Yeah, 54, something like that. 54. Maybe let's open up the filter just a little bit on the cutoff. All right, so now on the filter, let's bring up the resonance maybe to about noon. And then since this drops down a little bit below the line, let's put a drive back up to here. Now the resonance is kind of to taste a little bit too to get that kind of acid sound to it. So that's totally preference. I have mine about noon. Let's turn on our sub. And for this one, I used a saw and actually put it up an octave rather than uh, down as, as is normal, I guess. And let's send this also through the filter. And this first LFO, let's put this on the pan. So we have that effect there. And let's bring the level kind of down so it's kind of tucked in there. All right, so that's pretty much on the main uh, the main tab here. So let's go down to our effects, and this is kind of where some of the magic here happens. So first off, let's put a compressor on there, and let's bring this up here to the uh, to the top there, and let's put it on multiband. And now this is kind of the section too, where you can kind of decide how much how much lows you want, how much mids and highs. Obviously, it's multiband, but depending in the mix. Uh, I would kind of recommend to once the patch is done, then you can kind of go and fine tweak this a little bit. But for now, we'll kind of we'll just find a decent spot. Maybe that second oscillator is a little too loud. All right, so next up, we're gonna add some distortion here, and let's go to diode number two, and let's put our mix at about noon, and then. This drive is also to taste as well. And then uh, let's see what else is next. We have our filter. So let's find our filter here and let's bring this up. It doesn't really matter here because that stuff is kind of going to be off, but your filter is going to come after the distortion. So let's put this on to uh, 18. Let's bring this cut up to about 6K or so. And the same envelope number two, we're going to use that for the cutoff as well. And then also this resonance is another one to taste as well. I find for this one, kind of low values is kind of helpful. And then the EQ is kind of just to cut off some of that uh, that low mid there. So it's, what, about 200-ish or so. So you can kind of bring the gain down a couple deeps and then kind of widen out that curve. And then on the top end, we're going to use a shelf here and kind of just bring it up a little bit and then maybe put this down to about 1K or so. And a lot of this is also to taste as well. This is just kind of a middle ground. And then after that, I have a delay on here, but this delay is very kind of quiet and kind of narrow. Just to kind of have a little, little openness after it. Then our envelope one, let's add just a little bit of release here. All 
All right, so let's copy this pattern here and let's paste it down under here and let's turn this first one off and let's see how that sounds with everything. So that's pretty good. One thing I did actually miss is this second oscillator is actually gonna be one octave down as well. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed that patch and we'll see you for the next one. And uh, not sure exactly when that's gonna be, but uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up if you learned something, if you like the patch and yeah, have a good day.